Well, from the softball field on a cold night, we move indoors to the warmer confines of Parkland High School. Trojans in action last night in boys volleyball facing Bethlehem Catholic, looking to stay perfect on the season. We take it to the action at Parkland High School. Trojans looking to go 10-0 on the year. Becca High was looking for their first win of the season. We pick up the action in Game 2 after a 25-13 win in Game 1 by Parkland. Golden Hawks looking to keep it tight early on. Good passing. The kill here by sophomore Michael Carroll. But the Trojans would answer as they come right back. Jack Dreisbach, after a nice dig by the Golden Hawks, is there for the kill and a five-point Trojan lead. From there, a great set here to Ben Hawk, and the junior would deliver with the big finish. This one lands just inside the line. Kyle Stout follows with great placement on the serve. Bit of confusion by the Golden Hawks. The Trojans build themselves a double-digit advantage. And then another good set up for Hawk. He's there for another kill. Parkland wins game number two easily by the score of 25 to nine. Move on to game number three. And again, it's Becca High that keeps it close early on a kill by Charles Benzing. That goes deflected off a Trojan player for the point. The Trojans again find some rhythm from there as Stout finds an opening. He would deliver the finish right here. Gives Parkland a six point lead at that point. And the Trojans also showing that they have good defense. Jake Heyer coming up with a nice block. Part of a 13-3 run for the Trojans. Hawk would later deliver the ace. Parkland cruises to the 10th victory of the year. They win easily, 25-13, 25-9, and 25-11. We played really well, you know. We were had people in different positions, and they all came through, and uh, we just played our best, and we shut them down. The league's full of pretty good teams, you know, but uh, we, we have a lot of good chemistry in our team, and so we can just play our best, and get the wins. The next match is versus Allen. They're doing better than they were, so we got to come out strong and not be too lazy when we first get out there, and I think we can take it. We're progressing really well. Uh, you know, we, we're undefeated so far. Um, I think we have a really good shot at, at districts and eventually states. Any league win you get is good, so, you know, it, it goes towards your, your overall record and, and district rankings and all those kind of things, so it's always good to go out and get another win, um, get us back on track. Um, next week we had a couple you know, good matches to get ready for, so it was nice to get out and, and get another win and uh, prepare, be prepared for next week. I told the guys, I mean, Allen's playing much better this year than they have in the past. Um, you know, they, uh, Gabe has, has been playing really great for them and kind of leading them to uh, to, to, to uh, a really good record so far. So we can't walk in this thinking it's going to be a, a match like we maybe have in the past. So we've got to come prepared and, and, and hopefully perform the way we can, and we'll see what happens. Every year, you know, big, the, the goals are always, you know, play well throughout the regular season, get, give yourself a shot for the league title and get ready for districts and then hopefully states. Um, so, you know, with the league title being the next thing on the agenda, you know, when the time comes, you know, we, we still have a couple matches to go between now and then, but preparing ourselves for hopefully, you know, getting a shot at the first Eastman Conference title would be, would be kind of nice to add to the last Lehigh Valley Conference title, which we won last year. So he gave the little guy a little airtime as well. <laughs> yeah. Get a good chance to interview him. So volleyball undefeated for Parkland, softball undefeated for Parkland, baseball undefeated for Parkland. Up until last night, Northampton wins 5-1 to one against Parkland, hands him their first loss of the year, and Noah Dernan with a no-hitter. He had five strikeouts in the game. Northampton now red hot. They have won eight straight games. And that's after Parkland uh, survived an extra inning affair just a couple nights ago. Mm -hmm. Wow. That'll do it for our show.